This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. One of the operations you do many times in MicroStation is to select elements for editing purposes. I'm still working in my house one file, but I want you to reopen your start file. Go to file. Normally you would use the open option to open a file, but browse down to the bottom of this menu and you'll see previous files that you've opened. In your case, it will be the level one start design. Click on that. You are now in the start design. I want you to draw some elements for me. Start with a circle. Play circle tool. Draw a circle. Go to the place smart line tool and draw at least a couple of lines. Then go to the element selection tool. The simplest way to select elements is simply to click on them with the element selection tool. Notice that the element highlights and it displays handles at the ends of the line in this case. If I select the next line, that is now selected, but the previous line is unselected. If I select the circle, the selection moves to the circle. To dismiss the circle as a selection, simply left click in the screen. To make a selection set, select an item, hold down the control key and select the next item and the next item. You now have a selection set. To dismiss the set, again, simply left click in the screen. If you have a selection set and you want to remove one element from the set, again, hold down the control key and select the element and that's removed from the selection set. Left click to dismiss the set. Now obviously this is a fairly tedious method if you want to select many items in the drawing. So there are several other ways of making large selection sets. Simplest way first, move to the left, click and hold and drag a box. This is called an inside selection box and only elements which are completely inside the box will be selected. At the moment only the upper line is fully inside the box. I let go of the cursor and only that line is selected. Left click. Now try going from the right and dragging a selection box. Notice the different line type for this particular box. This is called a crossing box and any element which is either fully in or crossing the box will be selected. Let go of the cursor. Both elements are selected. Left click. Notice the two actions that we just did. Left to right is an inside box right to left is a crossing box. Now you're not completely stuck with the left right or right left directions. For example, if I drag a crossing box, but I really want it to be an inside box, then I hold down the shift key at this point. The box changes to an inside selection box. Same with the inside box. Hold down the shift key at this point, becomes a crossing box. You can also use the alt key to create a line selection tool. Click and drag a box first, hold down the Alt key, and the selection turns into a line. Drag the line across the element you want to select, let go, let go of the Alt, and you have a selection set. You can use that technique with either crossing boxes or inside boxes. Next time you try to drag a selection box, you'll still see the line. It's still functioning. To stop that, reverse the process, hold down the Alt key, and it changes to a selection box. The element selection tool has many other options. If you go to the tool settings window for the element selection tool, you'll notice the icons on these two rows. These enhance the selection methods. You can use a block, a shape, a circle, or a line to make selections. For example, let's take the shape option. To select elements, I'm able to create a box of any shape around elements. Once I complete the box, then the element is selected. This is really useful if you're in tight positions. All the elements are separated and it's hard to select them with the standard methods. Revert back to the standard individual selection. Left click. Notice on the bottom line that we're working with new selections, but you can add items with this, subtract items, or invert the selection set so that items which are selected are now not and everything else is selected. Or you can select all all items in the entire drawing are selected. That reverts to a clear option. 
clear all items being selected. You can disable the handles on elements too. Click on that, select an element, and there are no handles. We'll look at handles later on in the course. Turn that back on again. You can also do some very sophisticated selection sets. Click on the Show Extended Settings, and now you see a whole range of selections by attributes. For example, you can select elements by level, by color, by type, and so on. For example, back out to the drawing, unselect that line, scroll down in the Element Options, select Line, and only my lines are selected. Very sophisticated and extremely useful, so long as you are thinking ahead and making element colors and line styles and attributes specific for particular items, which can then be selected automatically using the system. Close that box again. Now this is a very important part of MicroStation and you really need to practice this because you'll be making selection sets on a continuous basis. Throw some more elements in the design and practice and practice and practice.